live look this morning from Portland Head Light. Some uh, raindrops lingering on the lens there. And you're lucky if you got some raindrops this morning because some people are dealing with some some significant snow, Ryan. I think I see a couple of flakes even in that shot there. Really? From Portland Headlight, too. Yeah, wow. even along the coast. We may end as a little bit of snow, Lindsay. Yeah, good morning, May 9th, and a lot more like February 9th, I think, in most of the state this morning. Uh, this picture from Jay showing a couple of inches of snow, and this time of the year, it really accumulates most on the grass, on the trees, on the car tops. This probably isn't a storm that requires plows or anything like that. In Ellsworth, we've been rain up until about now, just starting to get some snowflakes mixing in there. Augusta, you can see the runway is wet, but off in the distance, the ground is covered in some snow there on the grass and same idea up in the Carabasset Valley still snowing but the pavement holding on to some of that warmth this morning. The temperature has been dropping near the coastline now down to 34 in Wiscasset, 36 in Portland or 34 in Lewiston, 33 in Augusta, 32 in Waterville and 33 in Bangor. So inland especially it's cold enough for that snow to accumulate and we're starting to get some flakes mixing in in Portland. Reports of flakes mixing in all the way down in York, Agunquit and Kennebunk too. To the north and west of Portland though is where much of the accumulation will be out of this. We've got a steady band that looks like developing around Bethel into Newry right now too. In Bangor, mostly snow falling right now. It started out as a little bit of light rain, even in places like Lincoln and Millinocket, but there as heavier precip moves in, the air is cooling and it will be flipping to snow. And even on the down east coast, you can see this rain snow line trying to work southeast. A cherry field Machias could end as a little bit of snow, but again, the roadways will just stay wet out of this one. Back edge now starting to work into southern New Hampshire, so we'll be ending this later this morning in western Maine, but as the storm system moves north and east, it will keep snowing into the afternoon in a lot of eastern and northern Maine. And for the rest of us, the wind will pick up this morning and we'll have some gusts this afternoon between 40 and 50 miles per hour. Now, I'm not concerned about any widespread power outages, but there could be some isolated ones, especially because of the snow that's built up on the trees and on the power lines. This is noon time today. At that point, it's over in western Maine. Eastern Maine, we've still got snow falling, but this time of the year during the day, the sun is as strong as it is in late July. There really won't be too much accumulation, but chilly and snowy in eastern Maine into the afternoon. Western Maine, there could be a random shower, but it does not warm up much. Temperatures only in the low 40s for highs today. So this snowfall forecast has worked out really well. A uh, one to three inches north of the cities in central and southern Maine, three to six inches where it snows into the afternoon up north. That's where winter storm warnings are in effect. The rest of us, it's a wind advisory. It looks like the strongest winds come in this afternoon. Could get some gusts in the 40 to 50 miles per hour range. Stays breezy tonight and breezy to windy tomorrow. Some gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour on your Mother's Day. It'll continue to be quite windy. Temps tonight drop down into the low 30s, so a chilly night for this time of the year. Tomorrow temperatures will be a little bit warmer, but still well below the average. We'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine, and with that gusty breeze tomorrow, it will feel cool. Only 52 in Bangor, 54 in Portland, and 52 in Lewiston for high temperatures on your Mother's Day. The wind starts to relax a little bit on Monday. We'll start out with sun Monday morning, but the next system, a weak one, comes in Monday afternoon afternoon with mostly rain showers. Could there be a flake in the mountains? Sure, but it won't be anything like what we're waking up to this morning. And then after that, the pattern relaxes a bit. It's dry and cool at least until Thursday. Then we'll start to warm things up a little bit. Sees four to seven feet today. Gale warning up with wind gusts of 40 knots on the water. So on the seven day, you see the next five days are below average. Average highs in the low 60s. Looks like we'll finally get there on Thursday. Hopefully the next system late next week is largely rain. That's the way it looks at least right now. So Lindsay, keep uh, sharing those pictures, everybody. We'll share them through the morning. Sounds good. Brian, thanks so much.